What's up, everybody? Welcome to South Miami. We are, Hello. We're on US 1. One of the most uh, crappy commutes in Miami. It is a Saturday, that helps. We're just outside of the Dayland area. We're going to drive towards Miami. This is a really crappy part of Miami, I think. Traffic. I mean, it is a weekend. Is it Saturday today? You shall remove yourself from my path. I will not stop for you, eh? You are going to have to move yourself. This is a really crappy commute. It is a nightmare during the weekends. But we're going to drive clear through. Yes, I do. Miami. South Miami at that. I've seen some crazy things. This is this is an interesting drive. It can be interesting. You can run into some interesting characters out here. But for now, there's people on the middle of the road with the door open, for example. You'll see some interesting people. Oh, there's some flowers? Mm -hmm. Why did she grab a flower from the back of the car and not put them in the front? Interesting. I guess you'll see some interesting things out here. This is one of the craziest stretches around in Florida. You'll see people screaming their heads off in the middle of the road. Yeah. I mean, I only worked here for a few weeks, and in the time period that we were here, we saw some wild, wild. It's so wild. It's so crazy. It's so I don't know. Maybe she's got a kid in the car and kids trying to eat the plant, so she has yeah. to take the front seat. I don't know. That's an interesting, that's an interesting explanation. But, uh, you know, it's a grid pattern, but this street cr cuts vertically across the grid pattern to take it towards downtown Miami. So, let's just say that it's a, it's a road layout that makes practically no sense at all. I mean, I don't know exactly, maybe there wasn't as much traffic when they built this, but it, it's basically, this is a north to south grid pattern, but this street has to cut vertically across all these grid patterns to take you all the way to downtown Miami so it's it's uh it's impractical it's it's really weird how it's laid out and then on top of that you have like really great neighborhoods that come right up against this and you have some not so great neighborhoods that come up against this so it's probably one of the worst streets to be on in Miami I don't know if it's the worst what do you think is the worst tr street to be on in Miami for traffic this is possibly it hmm. what do you think the worst street in Miami for traffic. The Palmetto can be horrendous. Yeah. I mean, downtown's more densely populated, so. Well, as far as like major doorway to the city and major roads to the city, I'm pretty sure this has got to be the worst one to be on. What in South Miami? The city of pleasant living. <laughs> No, 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 you didn't just say that. The city of pleasant living. Yeah, this is not, I wouldn't describe this as pleasant. I'm not sure what they're going for there. I would not use the word pleasant to describe this area. Probably that's like the either. least word I would, that's probably the last word I would use to describe this area. Yeah. Pleasant. Mississippi! Mississippi. They look cute. They're like, you know what, we just gotta go back to Miami. I this whole Mississippi thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, the fact that it's a major road in Miami, all the other major roads in Miami don't have stop signs every, like, for, look, and I'm, nice. One thing I did love about working out here was the food. Mm -hmm. Cuban, Colombian, pro. But the fact that this area, I, no, there is a worst area. On the north side of Miami, there's that intersection where like 95 meets, uh, like in North Miami. No, North Miami's worse, I'll give you that. 
North Miami is probably... Oh, Red Road comes all the way down here? Mm -hmm. So in theory, we could take Red Road all the way to Opelika? Yeah. From here? Yeah, you uh, want to get on Red? Let's get know. on Red. I don't, I don't know. I kind of want to see South Miami. Okay. And then work our way back that way. Solid suggestion. Let me look at my pocket. So you can literally take Red Road north to south... No, but it's interrupted by the airport. Oh, you didn't. Huh? I thought you should. I was, I was like, you, you didn't take my sweater out. Okay, here's the thing about Red Road. Mm -hmm. It's Miami Springs and the Miami Airport are in the way. Mm -hmm. So you have to get on 36 regardless. Mm -hmm. Is it 36 that cuts across? Yeah. I thought it was 36. What is it? Leum? Yeah, Leum. Or the Palmetto. There's a Miami airport. It's great that it's in the middle of the city, but it's horrible how it breaks apart Miami and Hialeah. Mm -hmm. I just feel like most cities would have had the airport in the outskirts. Yeah. Right in the middle. That's kind of odd. Miami has an airport right smack dab in the middle of the city. It probably wasn't designed that way, but it is now. Yeah. Most cities don't have that. Louisville has that. Mm -hmm. Kind of. They probably should put it on, like. I know rewind. Yeah. I know rewind. I know rewind. No, no, no. Put it out by, like, Belk Lane or something. Yeah. Like, they were talking about putting it out there for, yeah. for commercial. Mm -hmm. But they didn't do it. They never actually did it. Uh-huh. They're, they're trying to get. They have to bring in. The problem is that they have to bring in, like. I think it was like a ridiculous number. It was like they had to bring in like I think it was three thousand federal workers to do that. Mm -hmm. You can't just put up an airport. To put up an airport, you need three thousand federal workers. Yeah. You know, like between they have to check it all. Like it's not an airport. Isn't just you know. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just all oh, residents. They would have to, they... They have to accommodate It for takes 3, a 000. while. So yeah. they would have to... Um, Build houses, infrastructure. Exactly. So they would have to work with... Um, That's why those lots in Port LaBelle got up to $30,000. Yeah. They went from $5,000 to $30,000 just because they were talking about doing it. Yeah. It never actually happened. They were just talking about the possibility of keeping it. We're almost in Miami State of Limits, aren't we? Mm -hmm. I think we would enjoy living out here. I would. I, I really do. But the rents are so ridiculous. We'd have to, I think we, the way we live, to live out here, yeah. we would probably have to be making like $10,000 a month to be like really comfortable. Exactly, yeah. And still be able to travel and stuff. Yeah. I think we'd have to be making close to $10,000 a month. Mm -hmm. I do think we need to be closer to town, but yeah, like closer to amenities. But I don't know about living here because that's more, it's more out here than it is over there. Oh, it's more expensive this way? No, I think it's more expensive when the outskirts. I'm not sure. No, no, no. Where we're at, it's less expensive where oh, we're dude, at. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, it's cheap, but you don't get anything. Yeah. It's cheap where we're not, but what do you get there? You get nothing. No, no, no. I'm saying we should live closer to... Fort Myers? Yeah. Lack of infrastructure there is horrendous. Yeah, I know. <sighs> yeah, I know. I feel like we waste too much time, energy, and we don't get too much back. Like, if we made it a little easier on ourselves, it would actually work out to our benefit. Mm -hmm. He thought that man, you are silly. I like road raging people that I don't know. Um, It's fun to road rage people. Mm -hmm. So what else do you 
was at the store the other night? I bought powdered coconut milk. Usted está comiendo basura, man. <laughs> How can it be milk if it's powdered? Because if you add, they dehydrate it, and then if you add water, it becomes the milk. What are you like going to outer space or something and have to preserve water? What's the point of doing that? I think if you're not an astronaut, that's unnecessary. I don't need space age technology to drink coconut water. I can just go to Publix and buy a gallon of coconut water. You don't get what I'm trying to do here, do you? I really don't. You know the breakfast that I eat at home? I want to make it portable. So when we travel, I can have my usual breakfast. You know, I'm a sober person and I advocate so being sober and all that. But there's times in my life where I wonder if things would be more interesting when you start talking if I wasn't sober. I love luxury rentals. Look at those apartments. What's they it have called? palm trees on the roof. What's it called? Four. What's it called? Core, C O R E. Come here, people are at that bus stop. We have a drink. Okay. There's a lot of homes. Rated 4.4. Okay. There's a lot of homes that's right here. Not like the Denver bad, but like just too much. Yeah. So I bought Sam and Stuart Myers. Uh, I can tell this might be expensive because they have someone in a pool as their entrance. Okay. That's how you know it's expensive right there. Ah! She got died! make between 95000 and 109000 to qualify. So if you're not making $100,000 a year, you're not getting in there? A studio is 2200 But they want you to make 10000 Wow. What about this Moderna? Moderna. A one-bedroom, one-bath is $3,000 a month. What? Yeah. I'll stay in my garage efficiency in Lee. A two bedroom is like almost four thousand dollars. And they want you to it's make it's like thirty seven fifty. And they want them you have to make more than how much? You ha uh, single they have like a little thing. Single household annual income of ninety five thousand or less. And it says or less, so you can make less. And dual incomes of 109,000 or less qualify for special pricing. Okay, I don't even know what that means. Basically, if you're not making like $80,000 a year, don't even try to live in there. Yeah. We don't need you. <laughs> oh, life is so complicated. Sometimes I wish we lived in a trailer in Alabama or Mississippi where you could just burn your own garbage in your backyard that way you don't have to pay property taxes and let the dogs be your security system and get your groceries from an Amish farmer. This is where I would want to be. Unemployed? Oh! Where's that at? Bonita? Yeah. Is that the one that I looked at? Yeah. It seems... The, the, uh, the, uh, uh, what I do like is it seems like they have a great staff. Mm -hmm. As far as like the people that I met at the office were really helpful. But, dude, $2,000 a month will end up... When you throw your water, your light... It'll come out to like 3000 a month. Mm. And that was for two, right? Hmm? Those for two, right? 
Yeah, it will, it will come out to like three thousand a month. I think I would almost rather stay in an efficiency and pay a thousand dollars a month and not have to worry about anything. Mm -hmm. Do you pay two thousand dollars a month? You don't a thousand dollars a month. You don't even have to think about it. You just pay and you're done. Yeah. You know. Even if we thought we talked about this, if you had your own house, by the time you pay water and by the time you pay all the other crap you gotta pay in life, yeah. you're pretty much already at about a six or seven hundred dollars. So, yeah. and you still gotta mow your own lawn. You know, we don't even have to do that. I really do think. Oh yeah, oh. mijo! Oh, I'm gonna get so my mano. Take it easy, come on. Take it easy with me, man. Just like remember you, the guy from yesterday. I don't. When I was driving? The semi truck driver? Yeah, the dump truck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was weird. Yeah, I had a dump truck try to run me off the road. Yeah. But I, I reacted you. good, right? You reacted horribly. <laughs> you almost flipped the car. <laughs> <laughs> what made you think that what your reaction, you overreacted to it? The right reaction was to hold your steering wheel, and as he got into your lane, you would have crapped. You almost flipped the car. You overreacted, you started screaming, you got scared. That was by no means a good reaction. If you think that was a good reaction, you, you think asked you... me to start screaming. No, I didn't. It's on video, I can play it back. Yeah. But no, um, that was definitely not a good reaction. Mm -hmm. Not in the least bit. Mm -hmm. First, you saw him road rage the other person, right? Yeah. So if he road raged the car that passed him, what made you think that he wasn't going to road rage you as well? You should have already walked into that situation knowing if you try to run off the other person off the road, he's going to run you off the road too. So you kind of, you should have passed him the way I would have passed him, which I would have passed him on 120 miles an hour. He wouldn't have had a chance to, to get near me. No, you didn't, re I mean, it wasn't the worst reaction possible, but it wasn't the best. You got way too agitated. You could have been more calm about that. You freaked out basically. I mean, first of all, you see somebody road rage, you see a semi-truck driver just about run somebody else off the road, so you're like, let me get there and see what he does to me. What were you thinking was going to happen? Exactly what happened to the other car. Now, we should have taken pictures of that guy and, and, and sent it to the police. That was just insane. I mean, if you're driving a vehicle that big, I mean, you should know the danger. You know what I mean? Like, you can't just show that much disregard for other people's safety. That was wild, man. That was absolutely wild. The catch of Florida is the freaking price tag, man. how you'd make that kind of money out here. I mean, not with technology for young people, there's ways, but you're going to have to think outside the box if you're going to make it happen.
You ever meet somebody that's just weird? Boring. Go, women, go. Beep, beep. You're in my way, man. I speak in English without any type of accent, man. Clean, understandable English, man. You're acting a fool. You will respect me in traffic, man. Say hello to my little Camry. It's red. No, it's red, man. It's red, man. I like red so much my hair is red. Ramen noodle, man.